we don't have to get back into it, but how did the incident in the mid-90s, how did that change Mike Tyson? How did that, did that, do you think that two and a half years away from the game of boxing, do you think that had a bigger impact on any other thing in Mike Tyson's life as opposed in, in boxing? Well, you know, I was never the same fighter after I came out of prison, but I was just, I was still, um, Learning life, I was, you know, I was making mistakes. I didn't stand on the wall. I did something. But the, the thing, Mike, is that your background. You, I think the thing that I read was that by the time you were like thirteen, you had been arrested like thirty-eight times. So yeah, I was a street kid. So I was a street. Street kids do. We get arrested. We rob. We rob people. We rob stores. Anyway, we get money. We get money and. That's why I was arrested a lot of times. But I got away a lot, too. Right. Can I, let me ask you this, Mike. Were you not the same boxer when you came out, or were you not the same person when you came out? Pretty much both. Pretty much both, yeah. When, when, were you... I looked, at box, I looked at boxing totally at the business. Let's get money, let's get money, and let's try to change our life, get married and all that stuff. So prior to that, you looked at boxing as entertainment. You, you know money came along with it because you had tons of money. You had the, the White Tigers and you had the Rolls Royces. You had the big homes, the palatial estates. I didn't have the love for it no more. I lost the love for it. Were, when you were incarcerated, did you, spark, did you do any shadow boxing? Did you do hit, hit the heavy bag? Were, did they allow you to do any of that in there? I wasn't allowed to use my... my I couldn't use my... My my body is a weapon. I couldn't make my body strong because it's a weapon. That's what they told me. So in my in my in my my cell, I would just box all day and run and play for two hours. Were you were you were you is were you isolated or were you in gym pop? I was in population, but I was isolated a lot. I got into a lot of altercations. Hold on, you mean that? Tell me, somebody actually tried you? They knew you were Mike Tyson, and people would try you. No, I, I'm a troublemaker. Oh, so you, you know, trying them? I'm real. I'm a real troublemaker. Yes, I am, sir. <laughs> what, Mike? You know you had had a, you were in an advantageous situation. You know. Why would you? Why, why? Why would you say? You know what? I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. A, I'm gonna be a model inmate. I'm gonna do my time. I'm not gonna bother anybody because I know nobody's gonna bother me. You went looking for trouble. Well, listen, I didn't believe I need to be there, and I'm not going to let any guard disrespect me. So it, you didn't have a problem with the inmates. You had a problem with the guards. Yes. So hold on. I, I just want to make sure. I, was, it, was it the guard per se or the authoritative figure? Because that's what a guard is. What, no matter what you think about it, he's in an authoritative position. If he's in an authoritative position, he would just say, you have to leave. Oh, you, you have to do that. He doesn't say, hey, get the hell out of here. Don't move your ass. He doesn't say that. Right. Authority doesn't say that. So you thought they were you think you thought they were being disrespectful towards you because of who you were. I didn't think of nothing. I used to, I used to thought of the words that he came out of his mouth. You didn't think that he might have had a bad day? I didn't want to hear those words coming out of his mouth towards me. So what? Mike, you know people are allowed to have a bad day. Was this a, like a, a regular occurrence or this wasn't like an isolated or was it just one or two guards or was it like the, the general guard population? It was a couple of incidents, but I, I, I rebounded and got over those incidents. Right. And I became, those, I became almost like a trustee. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay where we do something before two something.